Guys, you cannot believe the size of these boxes. Look at this. We got one and two. Insane. We haven't had a package like this in such a long time, probably since Grandpa Larry um, sent the amazing packages he sent. But I actually met up with Rich. He's a local collector. If you guys don't remember, he sent me something like this when I was back in Arizona and my man filled this up and I'm so glad that I'm local now because this weighs a bunch, guys. This would have been a lot of money for him. Um, it would have been multiple packages. And then this one right here too, this is completely stacked. So I took my lunch break, I met up with him. He came out walking with these in his hand and I was like, oh my God, I have to give you something. Um, so I gave him some cash. I definitely don't feel like it was enough. Um, but Rich, again, thank you so much. I know you said it was an act of kindness, but I had to give you something. So this is definitely gonna be a long two-part video, guys. That is insane. But we're gonna go ahead and open up this one since it's already right here. And let's go with this one. This one looks super interesting. Check this out. It's a Car Culture Premium Series. You got the M3, the Porsche 964, the Renault 5 Turbo. Mercedes Evo 2 and the 85 CRX. And then check this out, guys. Boom! Oh, that looks so good. The 85 CRX. Check out the tampo works on this. The orange enamel looks really, really good. Of course, you do have some crazy racing stripes kind of all over the top. And then, of course, the black lower half. But this casting is super cool. Probably one of my favorite CRXs. Um, for the Hot Wheels release, I love how it has the mid-engine in the back and the massive heat extractor right up front. It is a very, very cool casting. I'm not sure if I'm going to open this because I've never seen a Car Culture Premium on a standard size card um, since now you see them on larger size. So that is really, really cool, guys. Look at that. Nice. All right, next one up. Looks like, ooh, there we go. Check it out, guys. We got the proper chopper in black enamel with the Sky Spy Deco. It's collector 241 out of 2000's release. Of course, you have the maroon plastic. The blades are maroon as well. If you guys remember, I do have the Chrome Series one of this and I believe another loose one. Um, but there we go, we have another one to add to the collection, nice. Next one up, it's collector number 414. Oh, my man hooked it up another one. Look at that, Street Eater Series, number three of four cards, nice. Now this is the blue faded card, absolutely love this style card right here. Um, but check it out guys, nice teeth graphics over the blue enamel, you have the blue blades, and this one actually has the orange um, landing rails versus the other one where it was kind of tied in together where it all kind of matched. So that is super cool. Oh my God, look at the variations, guys. You already know that is a huge thing for me. Look at this one, collector number 185. This is also a blue faded card. Look at that. Now this one is super nice. Love the yellow enamel, of course, with the rescued tampos. But that is nice, man. It's crazy on what people collected during this, this time frame. Um, Hot Wheels doesn't come out with stuff like this anymore and I wish they did because, I mean, look at that. This is what fantasy cars should be. Um, you know, helicopters, airplanes, tanks, all that cool stuff. I know they come up with some fantasy cars now that are pretty cool, um, but nothing like they did in these earlier releases. Check that out, nice. We have two more variations. This one is a street art series, look at that. Love the metallic green. You got the graffiti and the Hot Wheels and graffiti art. That is super cool. It's number two of four cards and this is collector number 950. My man hooking it up. Next variation is collector 68 out of 2001's release. Look at that. Now that is wicked. You got the 222 with the, looks like a bulldog. And the sky is falling. This is out of the Rod Squadron series. Oh man. Now that is cool. 
it almost looks like a wire dog, um, which Com in the Air Force uses the bulldog for their their logo. But check that out. I'm trying to see what that says on there. That is super cool. That is cool, man. That is nice. Check this out, guys. We have the Walmart truck right here. And it says, I saved it, Lefa. There was a card I bought anyway. Nice. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take this out. Because I have two of them. But I really want to see how it looks out of the blister. Look at that. Now that is a nice truck. Very nice truck. Man, <laughs> that is cool. Next up, what do we got? We got some loose castings right here. Ooh, there we go. We got the mystery model. 69 Mustang. There we go. Nice. Now I actually noticed that there is a tampo variation of this. Um, I have one where these two looks like almost like a swastika S. <laughs> Every time I see it, I think of the neo-Nazi S's, but that's just the way the tampo looks. Um, but I do have one that's more of a solid red versus this broken red with the black. And I have one with a darker red tampo, but this is, man, this is a definitely a cool mystery model. And this one right here, I'm not sure if this is a mist. Oh, this is the leap year car. Nice, man. This is the February 29th. I actually have one of these carded and I love this gray. Nice primer gray with the gloss finish. Love the 366 and all the tampos supporting it. Very, very nice casting. All right, let's see. We got some mystery bags right here. Ooh, what do we got right here? There we go. We got some 65 convertibles. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. Nice, I've never seen this one. Love the white enamel with the flames. Of course, you have the PR5s. Nice, this is a later tooling because this has the non-opening hood, whereas this one was the older tooling. Look at that. Now these, there are some five packs with this exact model. Um, some have the opening hood, some don't. So if you have the five pack with this 65 in it, um, make sure you have the one with the opening hood because that one's actually so much harder to find in the five pack. Love it. Oh my God, guys, we have a lot of stuff. And ooh, here we go. We got the F-150. I think this is out of the zombie five pack. Yeah, I believe it is because I hooked this up to Shane. But there we go. Nice. It's good to have this one back in the collection. It's actually a really cool truck. Um, but I felt that Shane and his kids definitely would have more fun with it. Um, but there we go. We got another one in the collection. Nice. Ooh, there we go. We got the mystery model, another mystery model of the 2005 Mustang Concept. Look at that. Safety crew. There we go. Now, I actually had two of these loose and I actually don't have any more of them. So it's good to have this one back in the collection as well. So I either, either gave them away or added them to packages when I sent them off. So here we go, nice. It's good to see that one again. All right, next up. Oh, we got a Zamac and a green 65 convertible. But check this one out, guys. Oh, that looks so good. Now I do have one carded and it is absolutely amazing to have this one loose. Check that out. I've never noticed that hard line right there on the roof. I wonder if that's on all of them. That's interesting. But there we go. And this. Check this out. I have this one carded, so here we go. We have it loose. Got the lava lamps and the guitar. Of course, it is the opening hood version. There we go. Nice. My man hooking it up with the Mustangs. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> we are stacked, guys. So many loose castings in here. Uh, we got the limousine in this beautiful black metallic. There we go, look at that. Nice. Got the gold lace wheels, gold base, white interior. Man, that is very, very clean. It's in great condition. And following up, you have the Ford Thunderbolt. 
in this beautiful red. Let's try to get it to focus. There we go. Oh man, you got the Robert Ford and the Hugh Rileman. Nice. This is a beautiful casting. Look at that. Now I do have a few of these. I've just never really gave it a good look. But this is a nice casting. Man, that is nice. Oh my God. Look at this guys. Let's go through all these loose ones right here. Oh, 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 oh man. I gotta sit down for this. Look at this Ford GT. Oh my God. I think I need to turn the light on for this one. Look at this beauty. Oh man. It's got the real riders on here. It's got the Forza livery. Look at this, man. That is wicked. Oh man, that is nice. I don't have any premium Ford GTs, but look at the detail of this thing. God, that is nice. Oh man, that is smooth. Then here we go. We got mystery models right here. I believe the Ford GT is not a mystery model. I think that's out of the Gran Turismo series, but the funny car is definitely a mystery model. Look at that. There we go, nice. This makes number two in the collection and I am stoked to have another one. Look at this beauty. And then this right here. Oh, this is, oh my God. Look at those wheels. Oh man. It's a little dusty, but we can clean this up. But this is wicked. Oh, that is nice. You guys gotta let me know what series this is out of. Man, that is nice. That is tough. That is a tough looking cast. Man, ooh, here we go. Check this out, another 71. Ooh, this is a beautiful color. Look at that, purple schmurple, <laughs> nice. I do not have this, but I love that pearlescent purple though. Yep, 71 Mach 1. This is definitely a color I do not have. Man, that is beautiful. Next up we have, ooh, look at that. That's that, uh, oh, what's it called? I've seen it so many times, it reminds me of a PT Cruiser. I wanna say it's a Chrysler. It is a Chrysler Pronto, there we go. Nice green metallic, like an emerald green. Got the Hot Wheels, Tampos, three spokes in chrome. Very, very nice casting actually. Look at that. That's some nice Tampo work. All right, next up, ooh, there we go. We got the 98 Cobra and the Ferrari F40. Well, you guys know I love getting some loose Ferraris because it takes away the guilt of having to open it myself. There we go. Beautiful. God, I love these. I don't know if it's the opening hatch feature or if it's just the body lines of the F40s, but God, I love these. There we go. Nice. And the 98 Cobra in nice blue. I do have this one carded. Look at that blue, guys. That is just... Whew. That is just wicked. Got the Attitude Deco. It looks like a guy riding a motorcycle. Man, this is nice. You guys know I'm one car away from having every single variation of the 98 Cobra. Yo, what is this? Oh yeah, nice. You guys remember I picked up a yellow tuned Lamborghini, but not like this. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, my light turned off. That is nice. Oh man, that is nice. Can never go wrong with a Lamborghini Countach, especially a tuned one, but this orange is very cool. I like it way better than the yellow one I have over there. All right, I'm just gonna use my camera's 
Oh, we got one more. I'm just gonna use my camera's light. Ooh, and here we go. We have another one of these wicked speed boats. What is this called? The wild thing. There we go. Look at the tampo work on that. Color. Oh my god. Now I have three of these. Um, purple, orange, um, and I actually know, I think this makes number three. And they all have this beautiful type of metallic paint, but check out that like demonish gargoyle. Looks like a gargoyle because it's sitting on top of the city little skyline. God, that is wicked. And these hoods open up too. Oh, you can barely see it, but look at that gold motor in there. God, that is just super streamlined. Oh, my man sent a lot of four GTs. Ooh, and I don't have this blue right here. Now I have the blue GT race, but it's carded and look at that. Oh, that is just another heavy hitter for me. Love that Ford Performance blue. Got the Chrome J5s all the way around. Nice. This one I do not have. This is a very nice blue with the white stripes. Look at this. Is this the 2017? Yep, 2017 Ford GT. Man, that is wicked. Oh, man. That is nice. My man sent some really good Ford GTs and GT LMs. Look at this, guys. We are not... Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, that is freaking sweet. Oh, that is nice. That is freaking nice. There you go. BMW M1. Oh, that looks so good. You guys got to comment down below your thoughts on this M1 Premium right here. Oh, that is beautiful. Now I do have the, it was also known as the Wind Splitter, the M1, and the Street Beast. Um, God, I love that casting though. All right, next up. Ooh. Ooh, my man sent the Supra. <laughs> I've been dying to get my hands on this. Oh, the legendary Falcon Supra. Look at this beauty. Oh, that is nice, man. That looks so good. Gotta love the Falcon Livery Supra. And then what is this one? Kmart Exclusive 71 Buick. Ooh, look at this blue. Oh, look at that pearl in there. Oh, Mr. Gasket, nice, man. This is a work of art. But that pearl, oh, man. Now that is what you call an exclusive right there. Exclusive should be in a beautiful color like that. God, that is nice. <laughs> oh, let's see, we got more. Ooh, there we go, we got some more funny cars. The green Mustang is a wheel error. There we go. This is the opening body version of it. I don't know if he meant um, because the wheels bent. I had two of these and I traded one away. Um, and I have one carded and now I have it loose. There we go. Here was, here's the burnt orange version. You guys remember I just got the purple one in a mail call. And I think it was an orange one too, but look at that. Oh man, things like this just get me super excited, man, because they are just, oh man. Look at the, the artwork of these cars, guys. These are just beautiful, especially that Thunderbolt. This Thunderbolt is probably my favorite um, color variation of it. All right, we have a lot to go through. Oh, we got the hover mode. We got the hover mode. Oh man, I know Rapid is going through the roof. Sweet, man. Now I do have some loose ones, but not of the hover mode. I have one carded, but it is so good to have it loose. Look at that. And then we got the BMW. Ooh. Oh, that blue. Look at that right there, guys. 
That is what it's all about when you actually take the time to really look at a casting. Look how beautiful that is. Is this the M4? There we go, M4. Beautiful tampos and detail for this casting. Nice. Next up, ooh, we got some Super Birds and some Daytonas. Or maybe they're both Super Birds. I don't know. But it looks like this is the Super Bird, that's the Daytona. Let's go ahead and see if I'm right. We have the Dodge Daytona, yep. And look at that green. Sheesh, that is a beautiful pearlescent. And then this one, I'm assuming just because of the body style differences, this is the Super Bird. Yep, there we go. You got the Plymouth right there. Love this color though. Oh my God. Man, I love these cars. I absolutely love these cars. I don't care what everyone says about the wings and the way they put that front fascia on these Dodges and Plymouths, but they are hands down road warriors, man. This one is super nice. Let's see, next up we have, ooh, look at that. Is this a, I don't know what this is. This looks like an old GMC or Chevy. But look at that. Ooh, C10 maybe? Um, I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments. It's a Chevy, looks like a step side, Chevy step side, but could be wrong, could be a Silverado. It's got the stacked headlights. Of course, you got the off-road gear wheels right there. And check that out. You can actually see the, the engine block right there. Nice, nice color. And then next up, Oh, look at that. The mini Roger Dodger. <laughs> nice. So I have the mini bone shaker. Now I got the mini Roger Dodger. Next up, ooh, let's go ahead and see what's in this carded one. Extras I had. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Oh, look at this, guys. Cars and donuts. Got the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint GTA. Oh, that is nice. Love that, man. That is, oh, that is nice. That's number three of five. Okay, so the BMW M1 came out of this series. Nice. Oh, that is wicked. What do we got next? Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> Look at the P1. Oh, that is nice. Love the orange and black, and of course, these are all fitted with real riders. No tampos though, surprisingly, for a premium, except for the front. But that, ooh, that is wicked. That is wicked, so that's number one of five. Next up, there we go, the Datsun 240Z. Look at that pearl. Now that is nice. I think this is the same exact one um, that Dotson Man used for his custom set that I won. This looks exactly like it. Jeez, this is clean. That pearl white is beautiful. My man. And last one. What do we got? <laughs> nice. Oh, he threw it carded. My man. Dude, you freaking rock, man. Man, Rich. Oh, I feel so guilty. All right, let's see, what do we got here? We got some more carded ones. One wheel, one color variation. All right, first, oh, 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 check this out, guys. A 2003 first edition Golden Arrow. It's collector number 29 out of 2003's release. That is a nice cast. I know I have one of these. I'm not sure if it's this color. This is a very cool casting. I know I've said that before, because I definitely do think it's a really cool casting. But look at that. But right here, let's go ahead and move that over there. Right here, guys. Uh-oh, don't want to miss one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Two color variations, nice. Ooh, which one do you like more? I kind of like the burnt orange one, to be honest. 
The red one's nice, but that burnt orange just looks really good. So they're both collector 29 for first editions. That is sweet. And then check this out. You guys know I just recently bought one and got one of these in a package. And look at this. Both wheel variations of the Dodge Charger RT. Oh man. Both on the blue card. And you do have the PR5s on one and the chrome five spokes on the other. It's a little bit of a color swing. You got a dark maroon here, and more of a lighter maroon on that one. Man, that looks really good. I'm trying to save these mystery models for later. All right, so let's see, next carded. Oh man, the 934 RSR, look at that. Another beautiful Falcon livery out of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. Nice. That is nice. Oh man. Oh man. You know how I said I was gonna start opening a bunch of my stuff? I don't know if I can do that with some of these. Right, next one up, ooh, there we go. Got the IROC. That is nice. Ooh, man, they need to bring out this color scheme back. Although they have been coming out with some nice colors like the burnt orange and the really dark blue, but this is just a classic IROC setup, just like you would see driving in the streets in the 80s. But look at that. That is nice. A lot of variety in this box, guys, and check this out. Ooh, what is this? You got the Hearst Oldsmobile. Ooh, look at that. It's almost like a bluish gray metallic, but man, that setup looks good. The rake on this car is nice with the big five spokes in the back and smaller up front. Definitely do like that. So it's an 84 Hearst Olds. All right, next carded one. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, nice. Now I do have this one loose, which is awesome because it was getting a little rough. And here we go, guys. We have it. We have it carded. The Wastelanders 70 Plymouth Roadrunner. Nice. Love that green, guys. Absolutely love this one. It's collector number 169 out of 2004's release. So that's the blister it came in. That is a very tight fitting blister. Look at that. That's when they actually took care of their packaging and stuff. You wouldn't never catch a car upside down or mispackaged um, in something like that. As next one's up, oh my God, there's so much in here. Look at that. And we haven't even gotten close to opening up that one. Oh my God, and we're at like 30 minutes right now. What do we got in here? Oh, 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 oh man. I don't know who's gonna get more excited, Nas or Rapid? Or me, shoot, look at this. Oh man, ooh, the detail. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Now I don't have one from the movie series, Hot Wheels release, but there we go guys. We got the DMC DeLorean. Nice, and this is from the first movie because there's no Mr. Fusion, because I know uh, Rapid would call that out. You still have the out of time plate. So nice, and then look at this. <laughs> Brian's legendary R34. Dude. Oh man, people are gonna be dying over this one. This R34 lately, and no matter what series it comes out in, is a heavy, heavy hitter. Oh man, that is nice. Look at those screenplay cars, man. Let's see, first set card variation, one set variation. Ooh, okay. So we got a card variation and a standard variation. Uh-oh, we got two Chevy Camaros. Oh, 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 that is nice. Look at that, guys. Beautiful Hot Wheels flame deco. I like how they did the door like that. That is unique. Look at that, it says Hot Wheels going across, but it only shows color on the door and roof. Dude, 
And then here we go. What else do we got? We got some. Ooh, there we go. Then and now, Aston Martin DBS. There we go. Beautiful. Look at the detail of this one. So yeah, this is the card variation. That one's got the Hot Wheels flame with the clouds, whereas this one's just your standard blue background. So I'm very curious on what this card was supposed to represent. Check that out, guys. You guys gotta let me know why they did that for this particular card. Well, you can see this one also has the clouds too. All right, this one is wheel variation. All right, let's see, what is this? All right, so you got collector number 781. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Oh, oh the Diablo. Oh, that is nice. Look at that red. So you got two wheel variations. You got the chrome five spokes and the chrome five dots. Oh, that looks good. Oh, and there you go. Check that out. You got one red card and one blue card. Nice. Now, I mentioned that before. You'll have the same casting, maybe a wheel variation like this. You'll have one on a blue card, one on a red card. Nice. Oh, that is, mm. I don't know how many times I can say wicked, but that is just wicked. Next up, what do we got? Oh my God. Look at these. Oh, the M Roadsters, but look at that silver flake. Oh man, then you got the Bulvarian colors right there. If you guys didn't know why the M3 uses or BMW uses the M3 colors like that, um, the red represents Texaco and the blue represents the Bulvarian flag and those two combined makes purple. So red and blue makes purple, that's why they came up with the three bars. But look at that, you got one with the chrome three spokes and the other with the chrome five spokes. Yeah, I'm both 518 collectors. Jeez, man. But we got a bunch of mystery models right here. So we'll get to those in another video, but here we go. It says Kmart exclusives. And I am just <laughs> Lamborghini Mira Homage. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, the homage guys, look at that blue. Now I have the red and gold one, but this is the Kmart exclusive straight out of 2018. All right, next one is the Honda 2000. Ooh, that is nice. I did not know this was a Kmart exclusive. Look at that, out of the Hot Wheels City, you got the Tyne Performance. Look at that silver metallic and the green splatter, just wicked. I've always seen people with this and did not know that this was a Kmart exclusive. Next one up, we have the Subaru Brat. Ooh, look at that color. Wow, that is like a, oh my God, that is a interesting color. Oh man, that is nice. That is really nice. All right, next up, ooh, there we go. We got the RX-7 out of the then and now in red. And this one has the black MC5s with the gold ring. Definitely did not know they had a Kmart exclusive for this. Next one up, ooh, there we go. We got the red RX-7. And look at the detail of this. Really sweet tail lights. You got the Hot Wheels license plate, the black J5s. Man, this is done up very, very nice. Oh man, look at that. Then and now, RX-7. Next up, ooh, there we go. We got the C7 R in white. I have the blue one. I have the blue one with the black insert on the hood and I have the blue one with the white insert. This is out of the Hot Wheels Race Team Series. You guys already know I love it. Already know I love it. Man, that looks good. This is stacked, guys. All right, next one, we have the Subaru STI. Oh yeah, nice. Now I have the red one 
And check this out, satin black with the gravel rally crew. Oh, that is nice. Look at that, the gold 10 spokes just fit it perfectly. I swear there was a time where Hot Wheels would put the right wheels on the right livery on the right car. All right, next one is the 2015 SRT Challenger. Ooh, look at that. That lime green is nice. Got the gray PR5s, which ties into it very nice. You got the orange half stripes, the black and orange stripes as well. Look at that, then and now series. The so next one, of course you got the 71 Dodge Challenger to match. Look at this. Ooh, that is nice. You guys gotta let me know which one do you like more out of the then and now, the 71 or the 15? Definitely gotta go 71. I'm not even gonna let you guys answer that. That was a dumb question. The 71 is where it's at. And there we go, look at this 55 Chevy. Ooh, that is a beauty. Love the satin finish. The white and lime green flames just really pop onto that matte black. It's out of the Hot Wheels Flame Series. One of my favorite series from Hot Wheels. Next one up, ooh, there we go, the Evo. Out of the Hot Wheels Race Team. Now, I don't have any Evos in my collection. Oddly enough, I don't, um, but there we go. We got the red metallic with the Hot Wheels race team livery. Super clean. Last one out of this is the 55 Nomad. Look at that color. Same as the Brat, almost. Actually, that one's more cream. This one's more of a sand pearl. Jeez, this is nice. That is a nice casting. Another beautiful Hot Wheels flame. So all of those were Kmart exclusives. That is insane, guys. If we were wrong on the Kmart exclusives, definitely let us know, but he had that labeled as Kmart exclusives and I am stoked. Look at this so far, guys. We haven't even touched the surface on that. Oh man, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side, because I definitely wanna open that one up later. And <laughs> let's go ahead and open up this giant behemoth. All right. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my man. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this, to start it off guys, you have the Blockade Buster. Ooh, that is cool, man. Look at that. It's like a SWAT tank. That is crazy. All right. Look at this right here, guys. Another shorty. Oh, we got the Custom 240Z first edition on a short card. Straight out of 2006, it's collector number 36. And there we go, look at this. Beauty. Nice pearl white with the red and silver. Oh yeah, that is nice. First edition short card, my man. Right next, <laughs> oh man, the very eight. And look at this, in perfect pristine condition. So it's collector 136 out of 2005. Dude. Oh man, I am excited to have that. And on a short card too. Oh man, so Rich last time, he hooked it up with some awesome short cards and he is not disappointing. Look at this guys, this is just stacked. All right, so this is a front unspun Surf and turf, check this, I've never seen this version. Look at that, nice metallic sky blue, the Hot Wheels sports graphics. And yeah, it is definitely an unspun front base. Nice. Oh, I'm glad I kept all of my surf and turfs because this is definitely gonna fit in nicely with the collection. All right, there we go, we got the GT2. Ooh, look at this. But look at that error, oh, that poor wheel. 
almost want to open it up just to save it. A nice license plate on there. You got the chrome lace wheels. Oh man, this is a clean casting. Ooh, I don't know, the GT2, I think it's much better than the GT3. You guys let me know in the comments, but that is a wicked error. All right, next up, ooh, Tom and Jerry. Look at that. No front wheels, and it is completely riveted. It's the Hot Wheels Pursuit. You guys know I love errors. Check that out. That is, I've never seen this casting before. That is cool. I love the card art, of course. I'm a huge Tom and Jerry fan. I grew up with that. Next up, you can send that to Kingnut. Ooh, he's gonna like this. You got a 2006 first edition, collector number 006. Oh, Kingnut, this one's for you, buddy. This one is for you, so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. These shorties, guys, look at this. Way too fast. Love that, man. That is sweet. Collector 152 out of 2006. Love the dual blown motors, the yellow enamel with the flames. Oh my God, guys, this is, oh, this is a lot. This is freaking a lot. And look at this. You got the first edition Ferrari 156, and I was literally gonna buy this off of eBay, and I'm so glad I did not. Oh, it's collector 50 out of 2001. Look at this Ferrari. God, that is sweet looking. Oh, you gotta love the Ferraris, guys. Gotta love the Ferraris. That's my first one in the collection of that, that style. Oh my God, guys, we are definitely gonna have to make this a part two. So we won't get to this one right now, guys. This thing is just completely full and we're coming up to almost an hour of filming just this first small box. But look at this, guys. Insane. You got Kmart exclusives, you got wheel variations, color swings, you got card variations, all these really awesome loose castings with premiums mixed into it. You even got the Cars and Donuts premium set, Brian's R34, screen time cars right here. Amazing, look at this guys. So that is all we're gonna get to today. There's just so much going on, but you guys have to comment down below which one of these cars was heavy on your list, which ones you really, really liked as far as the loose castings, variations, and all this good stuff guys. Cannot thank Rich enough. So Rich, again, I thank you so much, but I feel like the amount I gave you was not enough to cover what you hooked me up with. So I definitely appreciate you so much. But yeah, guys, that is all I got for today. Stay tuned for part two, which is gonna be this gigantic box to finish up this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you liked and didn't like. Until next time guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.